Achromatopsy is a rare condition that affects about 10,000 Americans. It consists of two hereditary forms, rod monochromatism and blue cone monochromatism. Both conditions impair the cone's receptors in the achromat's retina. Normally we have both rods and cones that work independently or together depending on the brightness levels. There are three basic levels of cone rod function. The photopic, where we use only cone cells. This would be in all bright lighting situations. The mesopic, where both rods and cones function together. This would be a mildly dark area, but where you can still see colors. And the scotopic, where only our rod cells function. This would be in dim light like a dark, moonless night. In complete achromats, the cone cells are either missing or non-functioning. Here is a normal optical coherence tomography scan of the retina. Now here is the scan of the patient with achromatopsia. Notice the missing gap designated by the arrow. This gap in the photoreceptor integrity line predicts missing or dysfunctional cones throughout the retina. Thus the patient is left with only rod cells. Loss of the cone receptors impairs color vision, reduces visual acuity, and most importantly, dramatically impairs the achromat's ability to see in bright lighting. This condition is called hemerlopia or day blindness. Most of us would see the street scene as mildly bright and in color. But achromats are left with only rod photoreceptors that can only naturally function in lower light levels and can only see in black, gray, and white. Thus, the street scene would be overwhelmingly bright, limiting the achromats' ability to even open their eyes. Patients must constantly squint their eyes to see in bright lighting. Even with the squinting, the light overwhelms the patient, and the squinting also reduces the visual field. In young children, we can design eyewear with custom red filters that can reduce glare while allowing only low energy red light to pass through to the retina. The red light does not bleach out the rod cells, allowing them to function in daylight as they do at night. Today, most achromats have the option of contact lenses with custom filters applied to control the glare much more effectively. Here, we see a red central soft contact lens used by an achromat. These lenses can also be fit in amber-brown and darker red-black filters that have an excellent cosmetic appearance. The use of these filters can dramatically improve an achromat's vision while in bright lighting, both indoors and outside. These lenses can also have a positive effect on an achromat's appearance. Here we see a young man squinting in inside lighting without red central contact lenses on. And now we see him with the red central contact lenses in, and he has a normal, non-squinting appearance.